Suresh Kalmati is an Indian politician who spent 10 months in jail from April 2011 to January 2012 on corruption charges related to his time in charge of Delhi 2010. He was accused of awarding a contract to install the timing, scoring and result system for the event to Swiss timing at vastly inflated rates. The official, also president of the Indian Olympic Association from 1996 to 2012, was charged with conspiracy, forgery and misconduct under the Prevention of Corruption Act, but has so far never faced trial. He was formerly a member of the Indian National Congress. He was a member of Parliament from Pune till May 2014. He is alleged to have been involved in corrupt practices in relation to the 2010 Commonwealth Games during his tenure as President of Indian Olympic Association and Chairman of Commonwealth Games 2010. He was charged with conspiracy, forgery, misconduct and under provisions of the Prevention of Corruption Act and later arrested for the same in April 2014, but it has yet not faced trial. In December 2016, the Indian Olympic Association named Suresh Kalmati as its lifetime patron. However, he refused to accept the post until he was able to clear his name. Kalmati was born to Mangalore-based Dr. K. Shamrao Kalmati and Shanta Rao Kalmati. He speaks Gankani, Marathi, English, Hindi and Tulu language. He was educated at Street Vincent's High School and Ferguson College, Pune. Kalmati joined the National Defense Academy in 1960 and was commissioned as a pilot in the Indian Air Force, serving between 1964 and 1972. He then became an instructor with the Air Force training team of the NDA from 1972 to 1974 before retiring from the IAF as a squadron leader. He is married to Mira Kalmati. The couple have two daughters and one son. In 1977, Kalmati became the president of the Indian Youth Congress, Pune, and the next year took over presidentship of the Youth Congress, Maharashtra, a post he held from 1978 to 1980. In 1980, as the president of the Maharashtra Athletics Association, Kalmati undertook the selection trials for the marathon team to represent the country at the Moscow Olympics. This soon led to the establishment of the Pune International Marathon. Kalmati served as president of the Indian Youth Congress 1981-1986. He was a member of the Rajya Sabha for three terms from 1982-1996, and again in 1998. Kalmati took over as the chairman of the Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation and in 1989 started the Pune Festival. He was also elected to the 11th Lok Sabha in 1996, and to the 14th Lok Sabha in 2004. During the tenure of P.V. Narasimha Rao as the Prime Minister of India, Suresh Kalmati served as the Minister of State for Railways from 1995 to 1996. That year he presented the railway budget. He is the only Union Minister of State to have done so. Kalmati served as the President of the Indian Olympic Association from 1996 to 2012. He also served as the President of Asian Athletics Association from 2000 to 2013 and was named its Life President in 2015. Suresh Kalmati at the inauguration of the First World Konkani Convention in 1995. He is dressed in a black coat, to the right. Kalmati, as the Indian Olympic Association, signed an agreement to bring the Formula One Grand Prix to India in 2007. Later that year, the UK-based organizers Formula One Administration Limited signed a 16 billion rupee contract in this regard with India-based JPSK Sports Private Limited. Records obtained by the Indian Express showed that Pune-based Sulbur Realty Private Limited was a 13% shareholder in JPSK, along with JP Group. Kalmati's son Sumir was a director in Sulbur Realty at the time, which would have implied a conflict of interest. While the JP and JPSK stood for JP Group, it was alleged that the SK was a reference to Suresh Sumir Kalmati. Records from the Registrar of Companies, India showed that a year after the company was floated, Kalmati's daughter, Pile Aditya Barsha, and his son-in-law, Aditya Barsha, joined JPSK as independent directors. Kalmati's conduct around the 2010 Commonwealth Games came under scrutiny, with the Central Vigilance Commission asking the Central Bureau of Investigation to probe certain aspects of the Games organization. For this, the opposition demanded Kalmati's resignation. On April 25, 2011, CBI arrested former CWG Organizing Committee Chairman Suresh Kalmati in the timing scoring result case. He was arrested under sections 120b and 420 of the Indian Penal Code. On May 20, 2011, CBI filed the first charge sheet in a special CBI court against Kalmati. The CBI alleged that he was the main accused in awarding TSR system contract to a Swiss firm. The charge sheet said, 
Kalmadi is the main accused as he was the person with all supreme powers. He had the supreme overriding powers in the organizing committee of the CWG. 2010. In addition to Kalmadi, the CBI named two companies and eight persons including OC former Secretary General Lalit Banot and former Director General VK Verma as accused. Kalmadi's membership of the Indian National Congress Party was suspended after being arrested and charged with corruption. On April 26, 2011 he was sacked from the post of President of the Indian Olympic Association. On July 1, 2013 he lost the election for the post of President of the Asian Athletics Association, a post which he had held for 13 consecutive years, losing to Qatar's Dalan Juman al Hamad. Suresh Kalmadi was in jail for 10 months and the court asked him to pay a surety amount of 500,000 rupees. Kalmadi was allowed by a Delhi court on July 13, 2012 to go to London for 2012 Olympics. He was, however, restrained on July 25, 2012 by the Delhi High Court from participating in the opening ceremony of the London Olympics, saying his participation can cause embarrassment to the nation. He claimed to be suffering from dementia during course of investigation while in Tihar jail. Medical tests were not conclusive to be able to prove his claim. Thanks for watching.